I'm gonna take a minute out the saddle here for a second. Yeah, they're just gonna finish crossing this Highway 59. Serious business, curves on both sides of it. I uh, I took a beating from my own pedal. <laughs> Uh, trying to hop back on the bike It is a bit chilly out here I'm enjoying the sunlight for the minute because most of the trace is uh, covered with trees Let's See how far have I gone uh, 35 minutes traveled 6.7 miles on the Tammany trace uh, Get back to it I have almost fallen off my bike about three times. Uh, kind of a trying to get my left foot clipped in. I tell you, remember what I said on the Appalachian Trail: if you can't laugh at yourself, you're taking yourself too seriously. Ugh. All right, there we are. We're clipped in on the left foot. Let's see if I don't kill my right foot trying to get up on this pedal. Uh, I do realize that this is a thing right here. These bar and shifters, when I'm hopping out of the saddle, I tend to hit them, and that changes my my derailleur setting. But I guess that's probably just me having to learn where to put my knees when I hop out of the saddle. Anyways. Continue. Yeah, that right foot I can get clipped in easy. That left one I still need to work with. Like I said, I uh, when I was still in Covington, going up and down each of the city blocks, town blocks. Yeah, you got stop signs and there was traffic, and I'm like, oh no no, please car by all means, you know, <laughs> go before I do, so that I don't you know roll out and you know get hit by you. And so I stopped at every corner. And uh smart thing would have been just to stay unclipped during all that time. But, I mean, hey, when have I ever done the smart thing, right? But this is pretty much what the trace looks like. Straight shots. And a highway over there residential over there and uh every once in a while every mile or so a road crossing with a stop sign on it and about 10 yards off to my right through those couple trees there there's the horse path for this section of the trail or the trace the Tammy trace oh yes sunlight warm me up oh I feel so good so good speed ahead oh no I'm going 10 miles an hour I'm speeding on the Tammany trace I mean, what? I have water. Is that I-12? I think that's I-12. Uh, 
Well, that's the first time I've rode my bike under an interstate. Won't be the last. Look at downhill. Woohoo! Oh, and an uphill, okay. I made it! Ugh, still making it. Okay, made it! Probably the only hill that's going to be on this entire trace. Okay, so we were in Covington and then Abita Springs. And if my local geography serves me right, this should be Mandeville. Wherever the Lafayette Street Market is. Yeah, Mandeville Trailhead, okay. Oh, that bike isn't happy. What happened to my straight trail? Why did it get all bendy? come to this place instead of Covington and just ride either direction. Mandeville's probably easier to get in and out of than Covington. Alright car, you gonna stop because you got a stop sign. That was Mandeville. There's been plenty of these little Tammany Trace signs I've rolled past. I'm going to take a minute to uh, stop here and look at this one. From Covington to Vita Springs down to Mandeville. Now we're somewhere in here uh, on into Slidell. And if you can see my computer down here. I'm going 17 miles, which is the longest that I have ever ridden this bike. So, yay! Uh, and my bottom is telling me to, you know, turn around and, and head back to my truck, which is back in Covington. Whoa. And that'd be a 34-ish mile day, but I wanted to do the entire trail. So, that's what I am going to do. All right. All right. 21.2 miles. A minute 40. Bleh, an hour and 47. I believe this is the bridge that they open and close to let the boats down the uh, Abita River, Albany River, one of those A named rivers. Alright, they want me to go slow.
much go slower than this. Bridge closes at 5.01 p.m. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what time it is right now. Let's see, I started around a little after 8 o'clock and I've been out here for an hour and 50 minutes. So it's probably around 10, 10-ish, 10 10-something. 10 <sighs> so if we go another four or five miles this way, I'll be back before five o'clock, definitely. Doing good. All right, I've done 25.7 miles and I'm not to the end of this thing yet. So, that tells me I had some bad information that this thing was 25 miles long from Covington to Slidell. So I started looking at these signs and they say it's 27 miles of trail to the uh, Slidell trailhead. So, hey, I know I was only planning on 25 one way and then, you know, 50 getting back. But if it's another one and a half until I get to the actual end of Covington, so be it. Gone. So, I'm going to ride on until we get to 27 miles. be about 1.2 from here or uh, something that looks like a parking lot park trailhead for this place so I'll know what it looks like in Covington if I ever want to uh, come at it from not Covington I know what it looks like in Covington what it looks like in Slidell because I mean what's the difference between 50 and 54 right for. But that's not the point. The point is I'm here. It's good weather today. So I'm gonna get this Tammany Trace knocked out. Well 27.2 miles. Look what I found. Andrew C. Carollo Park and Ride Slide L Trailhead. Okay. I'm trace closed for Thanksgiving Day. All right, well. 27.2 miles back to my truck been two hours 20 minutes to get this far I should pull out my phone see what time it is upside down it is 1056 so yeah 11 o'clock. Right foot just clips right on it, and that left foot still gotta still gotta focus on the left one. But that right one goes right on in. All right, I think I'll roll on down to that uh, that bridge crossing and uh, take about a 10 minute break there, just to you know sit on something that's not this saddle. Was 
it. 33 miles in two hours, 48 minutes. Oh, I'm gonna sit here for a couple minutes. Google calls it the Lacombe Bayou. Yeah, I don't know. Forty-three miles in, and my bottom <laughs> has gone from like sore to numb. So that's a thing. Uh, I mean, anyone that spends this long in a saddle and wants to spend longer—that's just something that they're going to have to uh, deal with. But. Uh, I've been uh, 43.33 miles, 3 hours and 41 minutes rolling, so you kind of got to ask myself, what was I thinking not bringing a snack with me? Because I still got about 11 miles to go to get back to my truck. But then you'd ask yourself, was I thinking? Well, I think that's the answer. But yeah, plenty of water. I trade it all for a peanut butter cracker right now. <laughs> ah, it's all good. It's all good. It's just another obstacle to encounter and overcome all right 51.3 miles so far and I had it in my mind to do 50 miles today and I have because I was going to ride from Covington to Slidell on Tammany Trace and back it turns out to be closer to 54 boy I tell you what I psyched myself up all week to do 50 miles today you know, that's my, my half of century do this once or twice and then tackle the big 100 so now mentally I can't let these you know three and a half four more extra miles stop me which they're not because you know I gotta have to get back to my truck but it's warmed up to a beautiful day this is a really great trail and if I lived anywhere from Covington to Slidell I would probably be on this thing every day all right just made it through a beat of springs behind me so now we got a straight shot into Covington to where we turn left and then go through downtown Covington which is where I almost fell off my bike a couple times today so yeah unclipping and coming to a complete stop you know with with you like off your bicycle standing at a crosswalk or a street corner yeah tell you I'm not very graceful at it yet you know those little sayings real sarcastic ones you know I'm about as graceful as a hippo doing a backflip when it comes to getting off this bike 
All right, that one might not, you know, that's, that's not graceful at all. Y'all leave me some comments about some really wonderful, as graceful as, you know, blank comments in my, on this video. Well, I'll get a laugh out of them. I'll see if I can become more, more graceful popping out of these cleats and uh, stopping. I'm sure I will. But in the meantime, it'll be funny to see what y'all might think I'm as graceful as when it comes to stopping at a at a road crossing. I'm back. I'm back. Ah. Oh, and there's my truck. All right. Fifty four point five three miles, four hours forty minutes. Oh. All right, Let's get some food. This is what happens when, uh, you and your bike, you know, take off, but, you know, one leg decides to, uh, stay behind and get run over by the pedal. Yeah, just a scratch. And a lesson learned. <laughs> 